What is up guys, it's Nate here with another tutorial. Uh, sorry I've been a little inactive, but today's tutorial will be awesome. It will be motion tracking with Element. Uh, it's a new program that I got and I'm really excited when I got it so I just had to show you uh, kind of how it works. Played around with it for a little bit. So I understand the basics. So what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your composition, have your motion track file ready to go because this is a motion tracking tutorial and then go composition add a render queue you want to match the frame rate remember this frame rate by the way 9.94 for me uh, go to output mo output module and go to jpeg okay and then you want to make a new folder I made mine right here at the very bottom it's called tutorial and then you want to go output to find your folder mine's on my desktop tutorial and then you want to save it, but I already did mine to save time, so I, I'll click cancel. And then uh, click render and just wait for it to render out. And then here, uh, I'm just tracking this right now. You want to do file new, or open up your Buju, uh, and then make a new project, I guess. Wait for this to open up. Alright. And then. When it opens up, go import sequence. Go to your desktop where you saved your file. And then you will have all these uh, JPEGs. You want to click on the first one. Match your frame rate. Apply. It will change the frame rate back because Bougie is retarded. You want to apply again and then close. And then you want to click track features. Now, that's why I did this. Because mine's taking an ass load of time to track features so I decided to do it ahead of time to save time so after this thing finishes uh, it's, yeah, it's done what it's doing is it's taking details uh, and tracking the movement of those tiny little details like right here it uh, has a window frame stuff like that so after it uh, after you track your features you want to go to camera solve and just click start This one shouldn't take nearly as long. Uh, I have homework to do after this. I've been editing all day and I kind of forgot that I have school tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. So uh, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. There you go. There we go. But what, what we're doing is we're just finding points that are kind of reliable somewhat. And uh, all of these are pretty much trackable. So go to the middle or wherever you think your text will be. Uh, I say my text will be right here and here in between these two points. So you're going to go to, ah, you want to go to scene geometry. Add coordinate from hint and make it x-axis. I guess I already have two. So x-axis. When I get two points, click that one. For me, I'm going to click that one. I'm going to go over here and click this one. Uh, you have to command click it to click, uh, to click on two. I don't know what you click. I think it's control on a PC. And then connect to selected. Add another coordinate from hint. Make it Y. And then we. I'll pick these two. Or actually, I'll pick these two. Connect to selected, add coordinate. Uh, we don't really have a z-axis, so I'll leave that. And I don't really have really have an origin, so I think this should be fine. Uh, so I will add a test object. And uh, come on, get out of here. And Buju is lagging, but it's tracked on pretty nicely. Um, yeah, so that's good. What I will do is I will delete these objects. There we go. And you want to go to export, export camera solve. And then we're going to go to browse. I will just to stay organized. I will put on the desktop. I will call this motion track tutorial. Save. And you want to make it in After Effects. Uh, if you're doing it in, if you're using 3D Element, uh, if you're going to do it in Cinema 4D, you want to make it to Cinema 4D. But 
but since I'm doing After Effects, uh, After Effects or a .ma file, Maya, and then export flight tracks only, you're doing this because if you don't, you will have all of these points as null objects, and that will be a shit ton of points, and I guarantee you that your After Effects will kill itself. So make sure you do export flight tracks only, scale scene by a thousand, and then save. Then go back into your After Effects. Let's bring in our uh, MT tutorial. What this is when you bring it in is it is a um, it's a composition, and you want to go into it and copy it, and go back to your original composition that we started off with and paste. So now when we're here, we can go to Layer, New, Solid, Element, make sure it's 1280 by 720, and go to Element, or look Element up. If You gotta make sure that you have it because third party. And then uh, what we'll do, oh yeah, I almost forgot how to do it. So I'll do uh, AE, I think this is my, um, AE recruitment challenge, so I will do three clip edit, and I do not like this font. I'll change it in a second. Yeah, this font is ugly. So I will go to character. Yeah, it's Pepsi font. That's why. I'll go to my favorite one, Topography Pro. It's ultra light. I want it to be extra bold. And then what we'll do with Element is we'll go to Custom Layers, Text and Masks, and we'll go to 3-Clip Edit. Now go to Scene Setup, and it'll bring this up, Extrude. Now what you have is this. Um, I'll leave it like as is for now, but you can go to presets. You should have a bunch of materials and a bunch of bevels. Uh, just click one. I'll keep I'll keep it as is for now. And yeah, so I'm gonna get rid of my three clip edit. Don't like actually delete it. Just click the eye visibility layer. And we'll go to group one particle replicator. And since you can't see it right now, go to zero, and zero, and we'll just kind of move over here. Here it is. Uh, let's move it up a bit. Kind of off to the side, up to the side. It is very, very small. That's what she said. So we'll bring up the size. Let's bring it up. Come on. Come on. This is an extrude. Is very big now because the text is very big. So I will go back into scene setup, bevel, bring down the extrude a bit. Now the extrude is a little better. Still don't like it. Still a little too big. So I will go to 0.15. That's more acceptable. Uh, I can I can put up with that. And so that's the basics of it. It's tracked on pretty well. Um, another thing you can do is if you don't like this, I learned this from Baker. He has a uh, tutorial kind of like this. Is you can actually duplicate your background, uh, freeze frame it, and go to your element, scene setup, and uh, actually no, you don't go to scene setup. You go to custom texture maps. And go to your freeze frame, high rise, little thingy. Oh, I mean, it's high rise for me, not for you. And go into scene setup now, environment. Uh, it'll say default. You want to click the down arrow next to it and bring up your custom layer and click OK. Now, when you click OK, it kind of gives it. Uh, no, it didn't. Oh, yeah, that's. I know why. You want to go to scene setup again, go to bevel, and then go to reflection and bring up the intense intensity a bunch so now it's kinda glossy has a nice finish and reflection type of touch to it and so that's just black I don't like that um, so what we can do to kinda fix that 
is go to render settings environment rotate environment and just rotate it until it kind of shows it's a little better it's a little better getting better I like I like that is a ton better there we go so now on the black background we have the kind of the reddish part a little bit of gray over here but it's fine and it is tracked perfectly on so uh, guys I hope you enjoyed that tutorial it was pretty long pretty complicated messed up a couple times but um I mean it worked so what more can you ask for uh, I hope that you enjoyed it and please leave some feedback if you like the vlog like I said earlier and um, just peace out. Catch you guys later.